What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 5 in the 8th grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. As we can see, all we're being asked to do is figure out which choice is going to be a nonlinear function. So if we were to graph it, it would not look like a line. To do a question like this, you need to know your linear versus nonlinear functions. And I'll go over a quick example, or the, a quick overview of what all that means. So essentially, To be a linear function, it has to look like a line. Line is part of the word linear. And in order to be a linear function, if we look at it in function notation language, in y equals language, we have to see y equals and then x, some other stuff that is allowed in order to, so that we can still be a linear function includes plus something or minus something. We can have some junk over here. We can even put x on top of a fraction. But now nonlinear is anything else. And if we have a nonlinear function, we're going to see something like y equals and then any of the following. We could see x squared or x with some other exponent in it that's not 1. We could see the square root x, that's a thing. Um, we could see some other crazy math words, like log or sine. But the last one, we could see a fraction where x is on the bottom, as opposed to a linear function where x is on the top. So if x is in our numerator, we're fine. But if x shows up in our denominator, then were nonlinear, and an x in the denominator would even overpower an x in the numerator. So if we're going to use this framework to look through our answer choices, choice A, we have x over 4, x in the numerator of a fraction, so that's fine. It's linear, so it's not our answer. y equals 10 plus x. Now x plus something, or a number plus x is fine, so we know we're linear, so we know b is not our answer. For c, x plus 3 over 4, and then minus 2x. So this is some junk, or x inside a fraction with some junk on it, and then we have an x over here, but we don't have x in the bottom of a fraction, so we're still linear on choice C, so C is not our answer, leaving choice D. And just to make sure, it looks like we have a variable on the bottom of a fraction. And any of these graphs will end up looking something like, if those are our axes, looking something like this two weird curves in one graph that somehow make up one function and somehow it jumps from all the way up here to all the way down there. They're really weird, but either way, choice D is our only remaining answer of a non-linear function.